Greetings from the land of OP, this is Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you episode number 14 of my Ultra Hardcore series. At least I think it's 14. I did that thing once again, where I did not look it up first. So we are rolling with it. Actually, I'm checking, that's a complete fucking lie. Ah, uh, why am I so bad? Jesus. Ah, uh, where is my Let's Plays? There we go. Do 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 do. Yes, 14, I was correct. I like it when I'm correct. Uh, episode number 14 of my Ultra Hardcore series, attempt number 5. And I was not going to do a video today, but I really wanted to get something done because I've been letting my my uh, my system go here. And uh, you can see that I finished all my blood sapling tree farms outside. There's a giant slime. I don't know why there's a giant slime. Uh, yeah, so I've got... 10 blood sapling tree farms out there, which is awesome. And they seem to be doing a good job keeping up with my dynamos I made last episode, so we're all, all happy with that. Uh, my ender quarry is running, and I made some drawbridge gates. Uh, basically, these guys are just set to look like Tyrion blocks, and they got three iron bars on each side. It's just a way to keep monsters out, because I was getting sick of them wandering their asses in whenever a blood moon happens, so that's the thing that happened. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot off-camera off besides that. Uh, I still need to find some red hearts, god damn it. Maybe I'll do that between episodes. Just go find some red hearts so I can f f flush those out. Um, so I made a bunch of deep storage units, and I was going to replace my wall of crafting shit here, but I started to do so, but then I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to do a few other things first. Uh, namely, I want auto smelting for a lot of these ores. Uh, iron... And copper, lead, silver, ferrous, uh, tin, aluminum, maybe not aluminum, maybe not ferrous aluminum, but at least like the common stuff, like like gold, sil gold, tin, copper, iron, silver, lead, like that shit should definitely get auto smelted as it comes in. So I made myself an extra, or no, I, I didn't make an extra one, I just salvaged this one from the wall back there from a couple episodes ago when I was making automatic charcoal, which I'm not doing anymore. So I'm going to put this bad boy back here, and what's going to happen is I am just going to put him on the wall like, uh, here. Why not? And I am going to take this guy, and we are going to move him to a place where he can dump into those a little bit better. And these barrels are all fantastic and everything like that, but one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, there is seven, so I could just do a line over there. That'd be good. Um, but I want to get set up eventually for, uh, what do you call it? Nah, AE system, that's going to happen in, in very quickly here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to snag this guy, and I'm going to put him, there's a hole in my floor. I think I dug that hole at some point on accident. Well, not, not on accident, on purpose. Uh, we'll put him right there, and I'm going to snag these barrels, and we are going to stack these bitches up to make this a little bit nicer looking, because just across the floor looks kind of shitty to me. So we're going to take these, we're going to put these up here. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And I am going to do this. We are going to take, and I'm going to just move these cables. There we go. And we are going to line them up against the wall like so. There we go. That's looking good. And I will wrench each of these to make these input like normal. And uh, these are all going to get replaced by AE cables as soon as I do an AE network, right? Uh, so we're going to do one of these, and I'm going to leave that there for just a second. I'm going to grab a few more of these cables. And I'm going to say input on this guy. And I'm going to grab, uh, let's see, gold, tin, copper... Uh, iron, uh, lead, silver, and I think that's it. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to move these off the wall. I have a lot of gold. I'm going to do golden apples here in a minute, too, like the really good ones, because I'm sick of these fucking potions crowding up my inventory. It's driving me absolute batshit. Uh, nope, nope, we're not doing Ferris, right? So I'll leave that up there. You can stay right there. Uh, silver for sure. Uh, lead for sure, and then we're going to move these guys, and 
that's that. And that's that. And we are going to tell these guys. I'm going to uh, get up here. We're going to right click on this guy. And I'm going to give this an item filter. Say insert. And we're going to say gold. We're going to say iron. We're going to say silver. Copper. Tin. Uh oh. Hmm, that's no good. We have one more to do. Hmm. I wonder if we can get more slots with an advanced filter. Let's check that out really quick here. Um, filter. I'm not sure what the advanced one does. But that requires one of these logic controllers, which isn't too hard to make. Let me go make one of those up, guys. I'll be back. So I don't know if this is actually going to be any better. Let me store, let me filter any additional items or not. But let's just take a look really quick here. Uh, ye ye whoa, or dictionary disabled, whitelist. Is that going to work? Let's see if this works. Um, it gave me a second slot, but it gave me extra buttons, and I don't know what all this means. Ma oh, I know what match metadata is and match MBT data. I know what all that is. So let me see if this is going to work out. We're going to go iron, gold, silver lead, tin, copper, and then we're going to see if that actually works out. So let's take this, and I'm going to move him, whoops, well I'm going to have to string this all up there anyways, but let's just do, before we do that, let's grab a, uh, yeah, hopper's good, and we want to put it directly against the cable so it can pull out of there really quick, uh, yeah, there we go. And I'm going to tell it extract always. And I am going to go ahead and just dump these in here. It absolutely pulled the lead in there, so that's good. Uh, let's just test each one of these really quick here. Uh, I took the silver, took the iron, took the silver. Oh, wait, that was tin, excuse me, silver, gold, copper. Oh, it definitely took the copper. That was the one in the bottom slot. So, yeah, that definitely works. Uh, I, I haven't done the advanced filter yet, so I didn't know if that would actually work out. Looks like it did, so we are all fucking golden. I'm going to go put these this extra hopper and this uh, basic filter away for the time being, because I don't need them at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, this away and that away. Whoops. Uh, where's the silver? Oh, that's tin, excuse me. Uh, gold can't fucking match up colors to save my life. What is this, fucking kindergarten? Jesus. There we go. Uh, that's good. We're looking good there. And so I'm going to connect this guy up to... You know what? I'm going to move him over a little bit, though. I think I'm going to put him directly beneath. Does that seem like a... Yeah, that seems like a good plan. Let's go ahead and just put him straight beneath the thing. Uh, I'll just grab him here. And we will just put him right beneath, like right there. That's probably fine. Uh, we'll grab this, we'll grab this, we'll grab this, and we will go ahead and do one of one of these. I'm going to disable this completely, and we're going to go straight down here. Whoa! Some lag right there. I hate when that fucking lag happens. Insert on the green channel these ores, <clears throat> and we're going to make this priority like five, so we want these ores to go here always right <clears throat> so we're gonna do that maybe I'll put that hopper there for just a little bit of a buffer in case a bunch of iron comes in all at once or something let's do that uh, let me go get that hopper again really quick here because I'm a retard and don't think of these things in time do 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 actually I think I did think of that and that's why I was carrying it and then I forgot that that's why I was carrying it so then I put it away because I'm a complete moron uh, the hopper will provide us a little bit of a buffer right here that way when we uh, when things are coming in, if for some reason, let's say that the uh, ender quarry digs up a bunch of a bunch of copper right next to a bunch of iron, right, and then the copper and the iron come in at the exact same time, uh, we want this to be able to still put them here because we want this to cook up. So he's going to go there, and that'll be priority five, so it goes there first. I figured out the priority system, so that made me happy. Uh, like this ender, like this chest down here. I moved my diamond chest out here for anybody who couldn't actually tell. And if we get down here and look we are going to see that I've set this to minus five. So this is the overflow chest, and everything lands here last. 
So it has to go to the other places first, and then this one last. And you can see I've gotten barrels for everything enough set up that most things don't really land in there anyway. It's just a bunch of junk, really, for the most part. So we're looking good there. And then what we're going to do, why did this disconnect? What is your deal? Why did you... Huh. Did you jam? Is that why you're... Weird. Send item receive. No, he doesn't want to reconnect. That's a little bit odd. Can I put this one to connect? No? Why is that not connecting? What the fuck is going on? Uh, anyway, let's finish setting this up. And then we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and then we're going to do that. And we are going to pull out on the green channel as well. And we're going to say always pull out. Always pull out. Always be pulling out. Don't ever not pull out, guys. She will be so pissed off. You won't even believe how pissed off. Uh, so what I'm going to do really quick right now is, before I actually get this rolling, I'm going to take this off of here. And we are going to... Oh, wait. Before we do that, we're also going to do something else. Before we do stuff, we're going to do stuff. And then before we do other stuff, we're going to do even more stuff. Uh, so I'm going to need my ender fluid conduits. And what's going to happen is... I fucking stalled. Uh, I was going to just run lava straight down to this guy. But... That's going to be difficult to do with the... Hopper in the way. Wow, I did not think that through. Alright, let's... Um, I guess we'll run it up the side. That'll be a little bit ugly, but whatever. I don't see what else we can do. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bucket and we're going to do like a filter of lava like we've done in the past. And I, where there's a bucket. I have so many buckets. Why do I have ten buckets? That's a little weird. Uh, we're going to get up in here and I'm going to just dig straight over to my lava. That was a little odd as well. And I'm going to place this down here for just a second. We're going to grab a bucket of lava. And I'm going to get over here and I'm going to tell this guy insert only lava I don't know why somebody answer me this if anybody knows the answer to this why do the item filters for the item ducts require that you make those paper filters but then the filters for the liquid does not require a filter anybody anybody Bueller that seems a little weird to me not gonna lie so we're going to drag him down the bottom there, and we're going to tell this guy to also receive only on fluid, and then we're going to get one more ender duct, boom, and he's got lava. It didn't come down there, I didn't see like the animation, so I was confused for a second there. Uh, so he's now able to cook up everything, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these barrels over here, and by barrels of course I mean these deep storage units. And I'm going to preload these guys. How many things did we put in that filter? I can't even tell right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab each of those ore or each of those ingots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to preload these. And we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Uh, so we got iron ingots, and if I put iron over here, and I put it right back on its spot, so we get iron ingots over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, this giant thing of iron. Oh, I don't need to use the fucking dolly on that shit. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just put this guy right here. I'm not going to put him right there. That seems a little weird. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect a cable up right here really quick. I'm going to disconnect those guys for a second. We're going to tell this guy insert. Then I'm going to connect this guy right to that. There we go. And I'm going to tell him to always output. And that's going to really quick start cooking these things up. And by really quick, I mean it's going to take a long fucking time. 
because of the fact that it's got 4,000 odd fucking iron in here. But if we look down here, we're going to see that he is cooking these up like a fucking madman. And then if we go over here, we will see that the iron is coming straight in here and getting stored. So this is going to be our automatic smelting system for the ender quarry. As it digs up shit for me, it's going to come in here. All the ores are going to go right down to this filter. It's going to get cooked up and stored so it's already cooked. I don't have to cook all this shit. Which I'm fucking phenomenal, phenomenally excited about. Can you be phenomenally excited? Is that a, Did I just make up a thing? That's some stupid shit right there. Don't listen to me. I say such stupid shit. These ores I'm not going to worry about because this has something to do with uh, Thalmcraft that I haven't figured out yet. Uh, this I don't even know what the fuck. Uh, these two are used for the big reactors mod, which I'm not going to get into. I just have them on the wall just so that it has a space and doesn't get in my overflow chest. And then uh, aluminum and ferrous are only for alloys. You don't really... Uh, aluminum, I guess, sometimes you need an ingot of straight aluminum. But for the most part, all these are for is for making other types of alloys. So I'm not going to bother doing that. And uh, yeah, that'll be a thing for now. <clears throat> so we'll leave that there. And uh, we'll just smelt the base ores into ingots so we can use them. And the cool thing about this is since it's got the better processing unit, it's doubling. See, it's only coming up in twos right there. So that's a little bit backlogged. It can, it can smelt those a little bit faster than this can handle it. Uh, so while it's doing that, I'm going to also... I should have started smelting gold first. Let me get some of this smelted up, guys. I'll fix my wall. I'll be right back. All right, so that, like, 4,700-odd four, four iron ores took probably about 15 or 20 minutes to smelt in real time but look we have like 9,000 odd iron ready, ready to go now so that's fantastic next we're going to go with gold because gold is going to be really important for me very shortly here so I'm going to go ahead and put gold right there and we're going to grab our gold barrel this should be relatively this should be quite a bit quicker because I've only got about a quarter of the gold that I had for uh uh, that I had for iron. So we're going to go ahead and smelt this gold next because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for each ore that I had ready to go and as we get into like the tin, the like lead, tin, copper, that kind of shit, like copper I got a lot of, uh, as I'm doing those ones I'm going to do my apples really quick here on camera for you guys to see. So I want to get the gold done next. So you can see that that guy's smelting away and it is all landing right where it's supposed to land. So I'm really happy with this auto smelting business here. I cannot wait to finish this up. And I can't wait to get into the AE network because all the AE shit is multi-parts now, so I could pretty easily just convert all this storage units, these deep storage units. I'm probably actually going to take these upstairs at some point. I'll probably do that off camera, so if you guys come back in an episode or two or three and see that all this shit is now up here and there's nothing here, it's because I'm going to put storage monitors down here so I can see how much loot and shit that I have without actually having to click on it because I'll have a terminal and all that kind of stuff. So... Um, I still want the, uh, the reason I'm going to do a combined version of it is because uh, these deep storage units can hold like millions of items, like literally like two million items or something. I don't think I've ever filled up a deep storage unit, not even with iron. I don't think I've even filled it up with junk stuff like flint and like cobblestone and stuff like that. Uh, I have never filled up a deep storage unit, so I love them. I love them to death. They can hold so much items and shit like that. You don't have to fuck with all these barrel upgrades. Barrels are fucking fantastic for certain situations. If you want like to like convert like a hopper barrel or a beast space barrel, uh, those are but those are very specific uses, and I don't mess with that a whole lot. So I just like to go with the deep storage units. So I'm probably gonna make deep storage units of everything to hold the stuff, and I'll put them somewhere else. Maybe I'll make a basement. That'll be the first basement thing. And they will hold them, and I'll put storage buses on them so that the system knows what's in them. And then I'll have the uh, monitors out here so I can see how much of what is where. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm looking forward to doing. And uh, let's get this gold smelted up. We'll be back in just a second, guys. All right, so the gold finished up, and I got my copper going on here. So while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start showing you guys these apples. Because <clears throat> I'm going to make a bunch of these. Uh, three, one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, put my bucket away and these item ducks for a minute, and then we can go nine. And then where's my apple barrel? There we go. Boink, stack of apples. And what we're going to do is I'm going to slowly make a stack of these. Uh, nine, nine, nine. We're going to make gold blocks. And I'm going to slowly make up a stack, nine stacks of gold blocks. Why am I going to make a stack of nine stacks of gold blocks? Because of these apples. Uh, these guys are fucking phenomenal. <clears throat> you can see that they're different. See how it glows kind of like it's an enchanted item versus the regular gold apple I've been carrying around that doesn't glow? <clears throat> this guy gives me regeneration. Um, 
I think for like eight seconds or something like that. It only gives me enough to regenerate about two, two and a half hearts. This guy gives regeneration. Uh, this guy gives regeneration one for a couple seconds. I think this guy gives regeneration two or three. So I'm gonna go ahead really quick here. Uh, I'm gonna make one extra apple. This is just gonna be for demonstration purposes so I can show this off because I'm gonna make another block in a second here uh, because I want to be able to have a full stack of these guys uh, in my inventory. So I'll make, an, I'll make the extra one just really quick here because you know what? whatever uh, do 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 one gold block oh I'm gonna need a bunch of gold blocks whoop that'll be my accident now now I'm having a neurotic issue see what you guys have done to me this is why we can't have anything nice this is absolutely why we cannot have anything nice because I just go fucking crazy and it's just a bad time good lord give me another apple you fucks hey fucking lag I said I said apple not lag there we go. So we'll put him back in the crafting table. And we will make another gold block. There we go. All better. Uh, this is my demonstration apple. Watch this. If I eat this guy, boom! Absorption for two minutes. Regeneration for tw uh, 27 seconds. Resistances to like fire and general resistance. So it gives you a nice bit of regeneration. The regeneration was like 22 odd seconds. It's about the same as its regeneration 2 effect. Basically, it's the same thing as these potions. Uh, the same thing is you get the same effect as these potions but you also get a crazy amount of absorption and a crazy amount of resistances for a good long time. So those are going to be used, the, the regular golden apples, I'll still make those occasionally and what these will be used for is just generally recovering hearts when it's not a big deal. Uh, these really fucking awesome golden apples are going to be for when I'm like fighting like the wither or some shit. So I'm going to make those up uh, while I finish up doing these. I'm going to get a stack of those while I finish up cooking up my ores. I'll be back in another second here, guys. Alright, guys. Pro tip. If you make a item conduit speed upgrade, which is four electric steel, three iron, a piston, and a redstone torch. The electric steel, of course, just is an iron, a pulverized charcoal, or pulverized coal, excuse me, and a silicon in the olive smelter. If you make yourself one of those, <clears throat> one of those things, if I could fucking talk... And you take it over here and you put it into an upgrade slot. You see how it's like just barely, it's like nit, 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 nit. it can't pull out of the furnace as fast as the furnace is cooking things. Uh, but we put this in here, boo, and he's pulling out way faster. <laughs> he's pulling out way faster. <laughs> so this is now able to keep up with how fast this is cooking things. And it's just instantly dragging those things out of there. And if we come over here and look at our tin barrel where those are landing, it's just like brrrr. Now, of course, uh, I would mention just really quick here that in the in a better furnaces mod, which I fucking love to death, if I get in here and I go look up for upgrades, and I come over here, better furnaces has a string of upgrades, one of which is the auto output upgrade. You can apply this to the furnace and into one of its upgrade slots and it will automatically dump shit out. It also has an auto input upgrade which just allows everything to just dump straight into it. Um, I'm not sure what this would be used for because you have to be able to move items that way anyways and most cables automatically input anyway so I don't know what this would really be useful for regardless. And then there's the factory upgrade which is a combination of both of those items you can do input and output on the side. Mostly here what would be useful is the auto output so it would dump straight out into the cable as soon as it would cook anyway. But as you can see, I'm using up all three of my upgrade slots on the side already anyways. There's only three upgrade slots in a better furnace. It'd be nice if as you upgraded each furnace tier, like from iron to gold to diamond and so on, it gave you another upgrade slot to mess with. But that's just not the case. We only have three total to work with, and I'm already using all three of them. This one is necessary for liquid upgrades so it can run off of the lava. I have to have that one. The uh, uh, advanced efficiency fuel grip upgrade it reduces how much lava it needs to burn things. Uh, and I don't like going and having to move my neither house all the time for my lava pump, so I don't usually mess with that just because I don't want to have to bother uh, moving. Like the more lo the less lava I use, the less often I have to go out there and move that around. It's less of a hassle for me to make this. Uh, for me, it's less of a hassle to make this this uh, speed upgrade really quick to do the job of this upgrade than it is to have to go move the fucking. Um, lava pump around and then of course I have to have the the uh, ore processing to double the ores so all three of these are more necessary to me than having the auto output uh, so I'd rather just do this because this works just fine 
Uh, increases speed by four items. Traction max is 15. I think these stack too. I'm not for sure. I'd have to try that out. But it's keeping up just fine now. And uh, but just keep in mind that that is an option. I just wanted to mention that to you guys that are looking to do an auto smelting system, kind of like I'm doing now. Um, yeah, pro tip. So now we're only limited by how fast the furnace can cook, which an extreme furnace. This is as fast as the. If anybody remembers back in uh, the days of uh, of equivalent exchange one, I think it was back in Minecraft 1.2.5. Uh, this thing's about as fast as the red matter furnace. Uh, maybe a little slower than the red matter furnace, but I don't really recall exactly. So no big deal there. Uh, we've only got two more barrels to cook up, so uh, let's go ahead and do those next. Let's grab our silver here really quick. Is this silver? Yep. So I'll go ahead and finish cooking up these last two things really quick, and I will be back one last time. Boom. Alright, and with that we are finished cooking up all of our normal stuff, so I've gotten all the space out here cleared up as you can see. Uh, everything's been cooked up. I'm really low on gold now because I finished up my apples, but that's alright. Not a big deal. We'll go ahead and get more. Gold's not super necessary for a ton of stuff anyways, uh, but it's going to be super important for our... Uh, current hardcore it, hardcore setup. So I'm still not sure why uh, this cable disconnected from here. I think it's because I removed this. So let me go ahead and put that down and then he should now have somewhere to put things. So that's still filtered. That's not running because he's not receiving anything. Let's remove the Tesseract and then put it back if I can just sort of stand. There we go. Eh. And then if we place it back down, will he? Yes, he will. And I will go ahead and uh, let's, um, hmm, I'm not sure which ones of these I want to disconnect or not, but that's all right. It's not that huge of a deal. We'll go ahead and just do this one. Whoa. Oh. Wow. That disconnected both of those. Did you see that? I disconnected one and it totally just... I can't even manually reconnect this. Or do I have to do this one? Because, well, nope, that's still not working. Uh, can I put him back down? Yep. Nope. What the fuck is happening? Alright. Taking you, taking you, taking you, taking you. And we are going to do this. And we're going to do that. And that should be good. Now, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to take this out of here. Let's do this. Let me get sit situated on here, and we're going to take you, and we're going to take you. And I'm going to have everything just come straight down. And then we will come out to the side. How's that? Does that work? Are we happy? We good? Yes? Okay. Uh, let's get down here, because the only way that I can really tell if uh, that thing is running is if cobblestone's coming in. So let's go ahead and switch this guy to high, so he stops running really quick here. And he's not running, and we are in fact getting cobblestone. I saw it a second ago. Yes? There we go. Uh, so the system is up and running again. The quarry has resumed mining. And we can go out here real quick, and we can just see... Uh, yep, mining at, and it gives us a, whoa, uh, gives us coordinates where it's mining at, so that's good. Uh, let's see if we can just wait for something to come in here. Oh, that was iron. I saw iron for a brief second there. Uh, let's see if we can uh, wait and see if we'll get another metal really fast here. I just want to do some copper, some tin, bring something in really quick just so we can see if it auto smelts, and we will be fantastic. Come on. Come on. Don't play me like this. I don't need your shit. I just spent like an hour and a half on you. You fucking better work. Well, I know it works because the system's running. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There's some iron. And it instantly got cooked, it instantly got pulled out, and it instantly got put away. So yeah, everything's fucking fantastic. I like this a lot, and I can just continue on with my wall of barrels or deep storage units as I would need to, except I don't. Um, what I'm looking, what I'm really looking forward to is uh, getting AE set up because they can be covered. You can use, you can put facades in the cables, so I can recess this in the wall and have one wall, and then not have to do anything back here at all. I can put all this shit back behind there, and everything would be fantastic. So I'll go ahead. 
um, and do that. And I'm going to show you guys really quick. I'm going to start doing this thing right here. Check this out. Uh, let's pretend that you didn't hear me say I was going to do AE. I'm going to play it close to the chest from now on, and I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. And like at the end of the episode from now on, this will be a thing where I do teasers at the end of the episode for the following episode. I'm like, what am I going to do next episode, guys? Let's see. Hmm. And then I'll just like pomp it up in circumstance, all that kind of shit. And they'll be like, well, here's your teaser. Let's see what I'm going to do right here. Next episode. Uh oh. Oh, baby. That way, apparently. So. That's going to be the end of the uh, episode on auto ore smelting. Hope everybody had an OP time. Make sure to like, favorite, follow, subscribe. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, slash RobTheOPGamer. Peace!